Hello everybody, this is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com and we just came back from the Proton X50 media preview and here's everything you need to know about it. So the Proton X50 is the latest compact SUV. So this is a B-segment vehicle that goes head on with the likes of the Honda HRV and the Toyota CHR. And the X50 looks pretty handsome, don't you think? I think it's much more modern looking, more sharper looking than the Proton X70. The X50 comes in four different variants and surprisingly, two different engine options. And it comes in six different colors. During the preview, we get to see the flagship model. So that's the highest one. So the flagship is the highest model, followed by the premium, down to the executive and the lowest base model is called the standard. During the media preview, we managed to get up and close with the top spec model which is the Proton X50 flagship and this comes with a 1.5 liter 3 cylinder turbo engine that's the same one that you get on the Geely Binyer. Based on the spec sheet of the Binyer, it can push 177 horsepower and 255 newton meters of torque. However, the lower 3 spec models are using a different engine. It's still a 1.5 liter turbocharged 3 cylinder engine but it has a lower output. Proton has yet to reveal the actual details of this engine and it's definitely sourced from Geely. The high spec model has all the bells and whistles. You get the ADAS 2.0 which is more advanced than the Proton X70 so it can support level 2 autonomous driving. And on top of that you also get this huge 10.25 inch screen that runs on GKUI 19. But sadly you don't get Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. But take note that the 10.25 inch screen is only available on the premium and flagship models. The lower 2 spec models get a smaller 8 inch screen, but it still runs on GKUI 19. In terms of safety, obviously the X50 flagships has all the box checked. You get all the nice safety features like adaptive cruise control, autonomous emergency braking, and we look at the center console, it looks like it also has like a parking assist whereby the car can park itself. And of course, on top of that, you also get a remote control that has the remote start. So you can actually start the car's engine before getting into the car. However, only the top three spec models get six airbags. The base model only settles for four airbags. Another nice addition is that all variants come with rear air vents. So that's good for hot weather in Malaysia. And this is something that you don't get on the Geely Binyer that the X50 is based on. And on top of that, you also get two USB ports at the back. So that gives extra convenience for rear occupants. At the moment, uh, there's no pricing and availability details just yet. But Proton is starting to accept booking starting from the 16th of September 2020. If you're interested, you can place a booking fee of just 500 ringgit. To get to see the car up close, uh, Proton is actually organizing a city preview event. So you can actually see the Proton X50 at selected locations that starts from the 19th of September 2020. So that's it for the media preview of the Proton X50. And I think this is going to be the next hottest selling SUV priced less than 100,000 ringgit. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed of our next videos. This is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!